just going to do a little tutorial tonight about um, print thin cut. Um, still seeing a few questions coming up on the groups. Um, I'm trying to figure out why they're getting blurry edges around images, why their text is blurry. So we're just going to talk real quick about that. Um, so I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to work with this little project here, which is um, a PNG cactus uh, that I got from Hungry JPEG. So it's already been uploaded, so I'm just going to insert it into my project. Um, it's going to be pretty big here. So I'm just going to make it smaller. So as you can see, um, you can see the grid through this image. So what that means is that the Cricut would cut around all of the lines all of these little spaces, all of these little lines here. So if we were to cut this the way it is, it looks fine here. But as we move on to print it, so you see now, see how it's all kind of thick? That means that the cricket's going to cut around all of these spaces. So that's probably not what we want. So I'm going to cancel this. And cancel. So we're going to go back to this original image. So what I want to do is I, I want to put a background behind this image to make it solid. So by doing that, once it's solid, it's only going to cut around the outside, which is exactly what we want. So this is really important if you've got text in here, um, because otherwise the way we had it before, all that text would cut out as well. We see people all the time that, you know, they're panicking because their letters are all blurry here. So we're just going to go ahead and add some text. So we'll just put uh, open sharp. Okay, oops. And, uh, Bring them up. And we'll just put it right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab just the cactus and duplicate it. So now we've got a copy of it. So I'm going to go over here in the layers panel and change it to a cut. So now you see how it's lost the color and it's just gray. So now we're going to go down here to contour. Now this is what's so great about um, DS3. Uh, the old version, what we would have had to do is pick every single one of these little things, click on it, and turn it off. With new DS3, all I have to do is hit hide all contours and then it's done. So I'll just exit out. And now as you can see, I have a solid shape here now. So when I go to place this behind, now I've got a solid shape. So I want this white because I don't want it to print any color at all. So we're just going to change it to white over here. And I'm going to move this out of the way. And drag a box around to select them both. And just center just so they're all lined up all nice and neat. So now, you know, it looks a lot like what we had before. But you can see that there's no grid behind it. So I'm going to put this back. Oops this back into place and then I'm going to select all and flatten. So now you can see over here there's only one image. There isn't the three layers like there was before. So before there was all three layers. So that means that this is going to cut all in one shape so it'll just cut the outline. So we'll go have a look over here again. Looks good. Continue on. And send it to the printer. And see now, I'll zoom in a little bit. Oops. So now you see that there's just the blur around the outside, which is the bleed, and nothing in here. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So yeah, so hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. So now you kind of have a better idea 
um, of how to get around this problem of, um, you know, of the machine cutting through all these lines that, that you don't want. Hope that helps. Thanks, guys. Bye.